Ramble. Thank you to Everlane for sponsoring today's episode. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, Ooh. there lived five mischievous little boys. <laughs> <laughs> there was the tall one, <laughs> who didn't know what a spoon was. What's this stupid fork? There was the one who yelled loudly. <laughs> Didn't know what a fork was. <laughs> no, 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 fork, eh? mm. <laughs> There was the wee, 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 wee little one. Hello. With a head of luscious hair. Mm. What do I do with this stupid spoon? Do I put it in my butt? Well, no, he doesn't know what the, what the knife is. Mm. Oh, how do I? Oh, my hair is so luscious. And then, of course, there was the man. The oh, myth, the hey, the legend. How's it going? Kilometers. <laughs> That's right. It's me, <laughs> dude. You're hot. Yeah. And hot together they went on a journey to create mm. the best plate of food <gasps> for their shared cutlery experience. Mm. What, about, what about the fifth one? Oh, it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm the witch. That's um, really good. I'm the witch of plates. The narrator. The witch of plates sounds like a tarot card. Yes, I'm the witch mm. of plates. Mm. The witch of plates. Yes, I'm always giving people plates and taking them away. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what a witch. You're the you're the you're the the napkin gremlin. And what is the napkin <laughs> gremlin? Of course, yeah. <laughs> the empty plate from the witch of plates. What does it mean? Mm. It means you're hungry. Is my soul hungry? Yes. It either means you're full or you're hungry. Oh, yes. right, because plates are a circle. Uh-huh. That's wow. like. Totally philosophical. Mm -hmm. Right, right. That was right. beautiful. Yeah. I like that. Wow, we've already given you something to think about today. Well, yeah. That's your welcome audience. It's a thinker, it's a stinker, and it's a full squad roundup for the first time in a very long time, I think. Full squad roundup and a thinker and a stinker. Yeah. Full squad roundup. It's a thinker and a stinker. Where do we even begin? Yeah, no, uh, Eugene, welcome to the podcast. It's Our been a little bit of time. For the this. energy is piping hot, so I'm really going to save it. That's, uh, what I, that's what happens when you ask me to introduce. Well, uh, I was I, into it. It was yeah. kind of like a spooky story. Mm. Like we were about to go on an adventure to return a ring to a volcano. Mm. I'm trying to think about what kind of food we're going to be ordering together. If that's the, if You're that's hungry the quest. here at 10 a.m. in well, the morning? Well, he said the quest is for the perfect plate of food. Ooh. And it's like, oh, you got all five of us? What is the the perfect plate. I think it's any food. plate of food and then add a little ahi tuna. Spaghetti with lump <laughs> crab. I like, I like no, no, Spaghetti no. with yeah. crab, yeah. Keith yeah. said. Spaghetti oh. with lump crab. Yeah, lump. that's good. That's good. <laughs> lump crab. <laughs> or spaghetti carbonara. Mm. Yeah, that. Eugene, what kind of stuff you been eating lately? You great. <laughs> look great. <laughs> oh, I've, I've been eating terribly, but in a way that I've just been embracing it because food is food. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Food is food. Truth, truth, truth. That's right. Hey, yeah, put that so on I'm trying to re. I'm okay. trying to. I'm trying to re reestablish my relationship with. Food. That's exactly mm, that's what the witch of plates would say. <laughs> I had a cheeseburger for breakfast yesterday. Wow. What breakfast time is breakfast? Cheeseburger. What time is Kadeem. breakfast for you? Yeah, it was. It was at um, nine forty-five <gasps> yesterday. How could you survive until that's then? An early burger. What time? Where are you getting a burger that early? A late the, breakfast. Are you kidding me? A burger stand. They also sell <laughs> breakfast sandwiches, but I. They also sell burgers at nine a.m. And I'm like, yep. And now, Whoa. are you doing anything to breakfastify said burger? Are you putting a cracked egg on it, or is this just... I got fries on the side, and I ate those with ranch dressing. <laughs> okay. Does so that make it more breakfast? Yeah, <laughs> fries <laughs> it's not really, no. It's essentially cereal at that point. I well, thought you thought so fries well what are hash browns, but really sure, thin fries? Sure. So right. I really thin. If you have a bowl of ranch, and you have the french fries floating in it, then I think you could call that cereal. Yeah, I mean, a burger is basically just breakfast sausage without the spice. Mm -hmm. Great point. It's a beef Whoa. sausage patty. Wow. Amidst wow. a morning salad <laughs> with <laughs> a lettuce. The lettuce is the morning salad. Yeah. Wait, Zach, what was your perfect plate of food? Oh, well, it's certainly not breakfast burger. Hmm. Are we saying perfect plate of food for the people or perfect plate of food for me? For I think it's breakfast. a more interesting question for you. 
Yeah, what's your oh that, I like this. What's your perfect oh, meal? Your death meal. I maybe. think that's what Zach was originally asking, and then Ned came up with anything and then dashed the ahi too. Well, I, I talked yeah, about. I mean, honestly, I was more on Ned's plate, but I like I like this. Get your, off my plate. Death, <laughs> yeah. Your death row plate. I, I'm not okay. I'm gonna think about my death row plate, but while we all think about that, I'm gonna go ahead and say grape leaves are fun and weird and delicious. Love them. Stuffed grape leaves or just not just eating the grape leaves? <laughs> you see the pure grape. That's, your, that's your final meal? Like a dolma? It's not my final, yeah, dolma. Yeah. Mm. But you, you some dolmas are delicious and some dolmas, mm. let's just be honest, blow chunks. They're just Whoa. so weird. It's like <laughs> visual it's imagery. Wet, wet rice Yeesh. In, yeah. a, in a sour Yeesh. little wow. slimy leaf. Now now I, I saw just, you ordered some grape leaves for the boys, for on, the the, boys. on the group text while we started. Do they the have grape leaves at that place? Yeah. I some. mean, they're you called Doma. Grape leaves for the table? For the boys. Oh. For the boys. Well, great. <laughs> yeah. I'll have some. Because they're you don't want like mm. more than two or three or you shouldn't. But they're fun. But if they're at a salad bar, I'm picking, oh, up. I'm, picking yeah. up. I'm loading up on grape I leaves. went to a wedding once that had uh, just table grape leaves. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, we're partying tonight. Yeah. Uh, final meal. So it depends. Why am I dying? Who's putting me to sleep? I'm going to execute you. Okay, so uh, I'm in prison. Yeah. No, no, you're in, <laughs> you're kidnapped. <laughs> no, no, no. Citizens are no, uh, sort of kidnapper <laughs> is just he was going to murder you. Just is thoughtful and yeah. wants you to have a nice. Right. Well, this changes things because yeah. if it's like if I'm at home, mm -hmm. I'm going to have something that's delicious and makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. But if you guys kidnap me, I'm going to wreck my insides. Yeah. Because when you die, you poop. You poop. And so I'm going to mm. leave you with just oh. a mess. Yeah. Clean up on aisle, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the so show. So we're eating, <laughs> we're eating an ice cream sundae. Uh, we're eating stuffed peppers. Yeah. We're eating so, all of the. We're eating pizza. Now, do you like aspire to eat all these things, but you can't, or has your no, no. palate actually taste changed to the point where these things like yeah, are, they kind of bad me to out you now? Yeah, damn, damn. yeah, yeah. So it'd be so a bad you kind of just want to watch me eat them. I, yes, that's yes, Ned. I want to watch you eat them yeah. so badly. <laughs> All right, cool. I watched Ned chug milk yesterday. Yeah, like two cups. Should we do the gallon challenge on the podcast? I, I, I'd do it. <laughs> do you have it? <laughs> yeah, go grab some milk. Should we have no, a gallon of milk? No. And then do you have a no. thought, Why Eugene, not? of your perfect <laughs> final yeah, meal? Yeah, we got a gallon in there. You I, I'm already two cups deep, so it'll be you know a 24 hour challenge. Nice. You like thinking about death, Eugene. <laughs> have you thought about your I final do, meal? I do. Yeah, final meal. upon it often. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'd want every cultural rice staple Ooh. Ooh. 20 plates of rice interesting so like, uh, I love paella oh, the oh, paella yeah. is really good I love oh imagine though a paella but someone makes like 10 paellas and you just get to combine all the crusty good bottom part oh, well yeah. no I want all, every culture so you get bibimbap you got, paella, oh. you got like jambalaya, adobo rice, chicken adobo, mm -hmm. adobo chicken adobo rice, yeah. jollof rice, mm -hmm. all the rice yeah. dishes. Uh -huh. Every culture has a great uh, Uncle Ben's. Dish. Yeah, I'll throw in some Uncle Ben's. Maybe. <laughs> that's America. That's my people's <laughs> culture is <laughs> yeah. Uncle Ben versions of culture rice. Yeah, uh, <laughs> little rice bowl. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Throw some Spanish rice in there. Hey, why not? Mm, I love it. Why not? I just want all the rice. That's rice. really good. Okay, so all of the rice. I had, um, I got some Chinese food, some uh, Uyghur Chinese food recently from my favorite place called Dolan. And I had for the first time, it was called Ding Ding Noodle, which means chopped up noodle. Mm -hmm. And it was like huh. as if rice were made of noodles. And oh it was my God. Finally incredible. chopped noodles. Yes. Wow. It was such a good crazy texture because oh. like the noodles stuck to each other so it was almost like little eating little rice balls but instead of being rice balls they were noodles little noodle chunks and it tasted like just a good kind of lo mein flavor yeah but it, it was just such a fun texture i never had diced like minced noodles as a thing never heard of it they were great yeah i wonder if you could do that with like penne yeah i think just chop it up blend it up good. blend it Ooh, you could blend, cook them and then blend and, them. And then you could put it in a popsicle, freeze it, noodle pops. Yeah. And then you might as well just have orzo. That's a really good point. Yeah. Orzo is was very similar, except these noodles, because they were like handful noodles, they stuck together, whereas orzo normally doesn't stick. Yeah. It normally remains a little more ricey. Orzo, mm -hmm. underrated. I love orzo. I My mom used to make a big orzo this. salad, yeah. Orzo and couscous. Mm -hmm. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> So your plate is all of the the rice shaped things that aren't <laughs> rice. Of, they're made of noodle. <laughs> yeah, I like a bunch of noodles in the form of something else. <laughs> yeah. I like orzo, but I feel like risotto is just. I would always just prefer it if I had the option. Risotto? Disagree. Risotto over orzo. Oh huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Has anybody ever, what about this? Has anybody ever taken a drumstick and breaded it very lightly, but then wrapped it in like a wheat noodle or like a, you know, a noodle and then deep fried that. So it was like chicken noodles are fried together and the noodle is part of the fry batter because a noodle is made of stuff that you would use to. So you're trying to reinvent chicken. the chicken noodle. Wow. What if? Yeah. Wow. It's mostly chicken. It used the, the noodle in the batter. Chicken noodle hold the soup. Yeah. What if you put it in a soup? Chicken oh, noodle. It's kind of like soup. Bone in chicken dumpling. Yeah. Chicken bone noodle. in chicken <laughs> yeah. yeah. Such a hazardous thing to eat. <laughs> you just get, you, you know, let's imagine. I guess you could wrap it in a wonton it's a wrapper. Thick, yeah. thick noodle, like, and you just fold it all the way over. And this is basically where our without a recipe ideas come from. Oh, <laughs> this is a good one. This is a good one. Yeah. Rachel would be happy. Try and guys reinvent soups without a recipe. <laughs> Soup, soup hold the broth without a recipe. I think I'd go ceviche, that pork thing that we had at Yankee Stadium. Oh, yeah. That was like a big... It was the bacon a, on a stick. That bacon, unquote, on a bacon, stick. bacon on a stick. It Incredible. was actually just pork belly. That was stick. really good. It was really Has good. Has that video come out yet? No. no. no I mean, I don't know. And well, I, if anyone's been to Yankee Stadium and they've had the bacon on a stick, it rolled. sound off. Well, everybody... Um, wait, Miles, wait, what Miles. are you going to eat? Yeah, Can, Eugene. I Eugene. said. He said rice. My but, rice yeah. medley. But yeah, I could tell you have something to say. Oh, yeah. Can I start over? Can we start everything over? Start the uh, whole show over? Yeah, I feel uh, like I, I feel bad for starting us off on such a chill foot. But we found such a fun place. I just well, came up with genius I fried chicken. I'm always yeah. down to restart it. We just can't erase what we did. Are you sure? I, yeah. I feel like I, I I made it too meditative. Welcome to the no. drive-by. See, that's the energy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, Eugene, that, I loved your energy. I thought I it was glorious. No, I feel like I'm given, I'm given too... To relax. No, that's nice though. But that's the chill energy we, that you, you know. Bring. All of the other fifty-six episodes, we probably annoyed the fuck out of everyone. Yeah, people turned it <laughs> off. I think fifty-six episodes a year. <laughs> that's right. Fifty-six episodes a year. <laughs> these, Free yeah. for Christmas. These yeah. these Fritos mm-hmm. expired what? yesterday. Ah! You're but gonna like, die. Is, are they actually expired? Ariel throws so many expired things out of our pantry, and I'm like. You get a couple I, I, days. I need everything, man. Yeah, my favorite thing is to throw Keith, away. Keith, you're stuff. crazy. <laughs> Keith, no. Do sauces really ever expire? Keith, it says it's expired. <laughs> what are you doing? doing? <laughs> you, you're mad, man. <laughs> no, it's not actually. I'm just you kidding. You're eating expired You can't food. do that, Keith. It's free the toes. Let me no. Try it. Let me try You it. can't free the toes. How, how, if how, it's stale. How, how much expired would you eat something? How long? What are we talking? How many It days? depends on the thing. But Chicken. Chips, I probably two years. It is a little stalish. <laughs> Oreos, prefer them. Prefer them expired. Oreos, I don't like things that reverse stale. Yeah. Soft. Where they get soft. That's yeah. Right. That but, freaks me out. Well, then you can't have any of my Oreos. It's like, why? how did it get soft? It just drank the light amount of moisture in the air and changed. Yeah. Oh, that is weird. Like, But like a chicken bullion cube, five years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. What about uh, Sudafab. A, a chicken, uh, like a Chinese chicken salad from Trader Joe's in your fridge. Oh, well, that's a different. It expired game. on Tuesday. Fridge stuff. I don't fuck around with. Yeah. Like that's, that's where you actually got to watch out. I, okay. You're going to get back two days and stuff. Two, two days, maybe three if it passes the smell test. Yeah. Well, also, like, is it really going to be that good? If it's fish. Chinese chicken salad. No chance. Fish. I believe that no. you are allowed. You get about a 12 day or two. Oh, yeah, for days. sure. Two or three days is okay. And in fact, if you're throwing away your food because it expired that day, mm. you, my friend, I should, are wasteful. Okay. I should do the Just intro don't again. make me feel bad <laughs> about myself. We're watching, we're watching Keith eat stale Fritos. I'm I, trying I brought to him be to this far place. Eugene, mic. this is what the tripod has become with oh, him. <laughs> okay, let me know if you need me to redo it. No, but Why you know what? Why don't you redo it? Let's redo and it. And we're live Let's see in how it goes. three. We'll start it over. Two. Okay. Welcome to the tripod, guys. Whoa! Oh, God. oh, God. I hope everyone is having a lovely fucking day. Wow. He's <laughs> Once so- upon a time, there were five quirky <laughs> ass boys. There was the tall one who was cursed. Oh, the man. The power to eat. He couldn't eat anything. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> then there was the married one who was cursed with the inability to fuck. No. <laughs> Sweet one, the wee sweet one, who was cursed with the power of never being able to take a poop. Uh, I'm full of poop. And then there was the extra tall one, extra, extra venti. Uh, <laughs> he was cursed with the power to never give advice again. Hey, how's it going, Bob? <laughs> 
All right, see, how's that? That was really good, and Eugene. Yes. That was more. Oh, and the fifth. <laughs> uh, he was cursed with the power of never being gay. No. Oh, no. The power. <laughs> Eugene. No. <laughs> he was cursed with heterosexuality. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hetero God. curse. Yeah. Upon, yeah. All, it was cursed with, with khakis for the rest of his life. No. Whoa. Wow, that's rough. The How many, spin? So many pockets down the side, too. They're khakis cargo. and children. Uh, uh, well, hey, happy Pride Month. What kind of gay stuff are you guys doing? So speaking of gay <laughs> having, stuff. Having sex with men. I wanted to. Yep, we're talking about sex with men. Now, I have prepared a segment because hey, obviously, Fritos. you know, Eugene's not on the show often. And when he is, we want to really break the ice. We want to make sure that we're getting back to that OG type shit, right? So I prepared some icebreakers. Is this a Webby Award winning segment? This is a Webby Award losing segment because we only won it the once. Are we doing What's the Word? Nope. Huh. Yeah. Oh, but we should. Uh, yeah, that's, that's Eugene's like thing. <laughs> well, that's really good. I did make a bowl of questions. Okay. Oh, what's, oh, the what's the bowl? What's the bowl? What's the bowl with Eugene? Can I read you the intro one more time? Yeah. 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 I just felt like Let's the last. More. I just felt like the last one was inauthentic. Yeah, 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 yeah. It didn't yeah. feel like me. It uh, felt like me wearing um, a mask, an other Try Guys slash Miles mask. Yeah. Yeah. Slash Very Miles. Morning radio. <laughs> like yeah. I was just waiting for you to kick it on over that's, to Miles for the weather. That's how yeah. I think of y'all in my head. That's us. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, that's us. It's pretty accurate. <laughs> all three of us, all yeah. four of us are one. And that one is annoying. Four? <laughs> Excuse okay, me. I just work your bub. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome to the Tribod. Today, we're playing some awesome games. We're Did he say with... Tribod? <laughs> tripod. <laughs> he said Tribod? He said Tribod. Oh, my God. We're playing the Tripod. I think you should start over. Yeah. Sorry, I'm start over. <laughs> <laughs> So quality is important to me. I would always rather get one nice thing rather than a bunch of not as nice things, something that lasts for a long time. You know, when you stick by what's important to your very core, it shows up in everything you do. That's why Everlane is committed to doing the right thing from start to finish. That means partnering with responsible factories and ensuring every piece of clothing looks and feels great for years to come. I'm actually wearing Everlane jeans right now. They are on my booty as we speak. They feel great, they look great. It's a clothing brand that does things differently. You have a right to know the actual price of making your clothes and Everlane shows you the cost behind the production of every piece from materials and labor to duties and transport. If you want to do things differently from your core to your closet, shop Everlane. Go to everlane.com slash tryguys and sign up for 10% off your first order. It's 10% off your first order when you go to everlane.com slash tryguys and sign up. Everlane, helping people live their best lives with the least impact on the planet. Uh, hey everyone, welcome to Guilty Pleasures. No, <laughs> no, Eugene. Wait a minute. Wait and a minute. we're live in five. Baby steps. Four. Is that still three. happening? No. <laughs> welcome to the tripod. Wow. I think I nailed it. You nailed it. All right. Let's, Let's get a bowl. The game. <laughs> Let's get a bowl. A bowl me over with your cues. We have a bowl of questions that are sort of icebreaker mini games. Oh, yeah, wow. Bowl, okay. That are going to be really I good. I think that each of you. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> he kicked it over with his foot. What is going on I in this won. episode? I want Everything won. is fucked up, man. <laughs> I want one. Get your foot out of here. I he's, want. he's laying down. I, he's I, kicking. I'm trying to reach a bowl. <laughs> Eugene's drinking a beer. What is that? A Starbucks? Ah. Uh, it's uh, a nitro cold uh, brew. That's good. Uh, wow. All right. So what's your question? So they're, I'm going to ask the question and they're going to answer it. Yeah. Well, and you're going to answer it too. And these are questions <laughs> that are sort of icebreakers. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> like, like a Careful, speed bro. date. It's like a speed date or icebreaker. It's sort of like office icebreakers. A little speed date. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So they're sort of normal questions you'd ask around an office that, you know, everyone's going to have. And okay. You know, okay. So you guys dating. have to do the theme Zach's song. Zach's giving me big crotch energy right now. Here yeah. comes a ball. Here comes a bowl did, question. Did you know that speed dating was invented by a rabbi in the 80s for little lonely Jewish boys? Aw. Make up your mind quick. Oh. Do you love her or not? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hey, do you love her? Okay. That was a little, Here's yeah, a, a bowl. Little Here goes a question from the bowl. First question, first icebreaker. Who's the hottest dude? Hottest dude? Chris Hemsworth. Put it on board. 
My band director, my band director <laughs> always said that a dude is the name for an infected hair on a, an elephant's anus. Is that true? That's that. <laughs> Moss, can we get a Google? Can you Google yeah, infected I'm elephant Google. anus? I'm gonna do infected anus, How's that and spelled? then I'll just sort of go from there. D O O D. I don't know. D. That's a good question. A dude elephant hair. D U. Yeah, it does. A yeah. hair on an elephant's butt. How do you spell? Um. Uh, dude, just like D-U-D-E. 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 Darude dance. Dan- uh, uh, so yeah. I would say Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Interesting. No, nah, who's the actual hottest? Like, well, so, so we talk about this dude? a lot. That there's like the difference between mm. the male gaze and the female gaze, and what, I feel like what straight men think is hot is the most uh, exaggerated masculinity. Mm. And I think that in my mind, Chris Hemsworth is kind of that balance where he is exaggeratedly masculine, but mm. also, fuck, that dude's hot. Mm. Yeah. But then there are like some women who are like, no, I like like softer, like Timothy Chalamet or Jimin. Mm. You know, that's that's more of a female gaze. Who do I think is the hottest? There's a lot dude. of hot dudes out there too. I think Chris Hemsworth Hot, it's funny, Thor. <laughs> kind of <laughs> wish <clears throat> centaurs were real, don't you? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Where do you yeah. think they would live, though? I feel like they would be. They would have a lot of prejudice against them. Yeah, I think it would bring up a lot of human centaur relations issues. People would be fucking you know? centaurs and human centaur peed. I bet you that <laughs> our society would not treat them well. I, I don't just, know. That they'd be. I think they would because they're so strong. They'd be athletes. Do you think centaurs would be allowed to play in our organized sports? Like, could you have a centaur on a basketball team? Mm. Uh, Ain't no rule says a centaur mm, can't play basketball. No, <laughs> they would probably make a centaur league. <laughs> centaur Air league? That would yeah. dope. Air centaur. <laughs> Air, c- Air centaur is pretty good. He would dominate. It would fucking dominate on the court. A yeah. centaur playing He could gallop. He's and tall. It, has, it He's has tall. four legs and two arms. And his teammates could ride on his back. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, yeah. Is that allowed in basketball? Like, can you ride can on Can you ride? If someone was like really big, like, can I get on... <laughs> Zach's shoulders <laughs> and dunk and dunk. You get on my shoulders. Yeah, if I'm dribbling, right? So like, I think so. Oh, yeah, like hole. I think I don't know if you can dribble while someone's carrying you, but like someone could kind of crouch down while you like take the rock, boom, 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 like jump off their back. Yeah, run wow, up Ned their is, back. Ned is such a sports guy. You hear him just call it the rock. The so rock. Casually. Yeah, yeah, you really dropped that. Dude, Ned might be the hottest the dude. Yeah. <laughs> Eugene, what do you think about? The hottest dude or centaurs on the court. <laughs> Those are your two options of conversation. What do you think? Yeah, I think, I think, well, hmm. Hmm. well, if you have a relationship with the centaur, you, the, the bottom areas are horse. Right. The, uh, yeah. So that's I just so you had to consider that. And mm. horses mm. are hung like horses. That's well, right. that would be damaging. That would be too much. Would a centaur have to wear pants or would it be indecent exposure? And would a centaur wear pants like this uh, or like I mean, this? Yeah. I don't think they would. I mean, I if anything, they maybe they would pants. be having to wear a shirt because that's the human part. But you could see their yeah. big swinging cock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Miles, we were all thinking it. How do you think a centaur uses a toilet? I don't think we need to cover up the centaur horse mm. parts. We already have the horses are free. We horses gotta, don't wear uh, pants, so I'm yeah. saying. We got it. <laughs> now, what did you say again, Miles? We're going to see what? His big swinging cock. Yeah. Oh, big okay. Swinging but because it's like, you can't see my big swinging cock because I'm wearing pants. But if you see a I centaur, then it's like, I can see your cock. And the guy is like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's my, you know. Right, because he It's talks. our culture. Because it's our culture. Yeah. That, yeah. We love Because he can talk. Like, he, he can, he can talk maybe. about his own. Yeah, he'd be like, look at my big swinging cock. And it's like, well, that maybe swing. feels like too much. Like, maybe we could see you know how scary it would be if a centaur reared up on his hind legs in front of you. Just, he'd be so big. Yeah. <laughs> Does so he have strong. a boner or no? No, no boner necessary. That's that still be scary. <laughs> yeah. It would be scary. He'd be scary. I, I'm not even scared of the dick. I'm scared of the hooves. I'm trying to think. Do we think that centaurs and human like okay? Did centaurs mm. evolve from horses simultaneous to humans evolving from primates, or did we both evolve from primates and somewhere along the way <laughs> someone fucked a horse? Yeah, I think that that's the most likely option. I just is. imagine it was a wizard that did the first one. Oh, and now... <laughs> yeah, it's a wizard. Well, yeah. this brings up an interesting question. Let's say I'm a human, it. and mm-hmm. I get cursed by a wizard to be turned into a frog. Yeah. Right. And then 
I make love to another frog. Do I now have frog spermies? Wait. Yeah, because you have frog DNA. So I have frog DNA, and that has altered everything down to my reproductive yeah. organs. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, it's really, it's your brain would be very confused because you'd have human memories in a frog brain, but the frog brain probably can't support it. You I know? don't think it could. It's like it running a you know modern day app on an old timey computer. It's like running an Xbox on a first gen PlayStation. Sure, <laughs> sure. Mm. Yeah, sometimes the CDs don't fit. Yeah. <laughs> Or the centaur is just an entirely different species. Yeah. Right. Sure. And it's but not really like that a How horse. did it evolve? Did it evolve from horses? From humans? From... It just seems like an awful coincidence that we both evolved. Could have been. Well, like at some a, point we it, split from horses, so I there mean, must have been part of the split. They were also yeah. like very mm-hmm. predominant in like mythology, right? So probably a god fucked a horse. I think it had to have evolved... <laughs> You think uh, mythology I, aside, I think it, it had if, to if evolve we could, from horses. If we could pause right there, Ned, that's a yeah. great comment. But I'd a love God to, fucked a horse? Yeah, I'd love to just yeah. kind of dive in there. We just, already kind of talked about people fucking No, horses. but this is a God. This is a God. <laughs> so I mean, the God different. might have even just sent like an angel down to impregnate the horse in the soul, like sort of a Jesus Mary type of thing. Yeah. Okay. Because like... Uh, yeah, that's probably the most likely... <clears throat> yeah, that's basically like, wizards, right? Zeus is like... <laughs> I'm getting down there. I'm fucking anything I want. He but was Zeus like, often was the person. one who turned into an animal. Yeah. yeah. He, he was like, wasn't always, he wasn't fucking the animal. You're right. He but, was, he, but he could have turned into a horse uh, and then fucked a horse. Right. Zeus could have done that. Right. Right. Well, That's he, classic Zeus. He, he could have. He typically turned into, say, like a horse and then fucked a, a, a person yeah. who, and the horse is usually like, against their will. I want to be able mm-hmm. to say I love you. And he's like, boom, now you have a torso with talking abilities. Yeah, maybe we do the intro one. Who was the Roman? Time. I think I need to bring it back. <laughs> Who was the Roman Zeus? Welcome Ju- to Jupiter? the tripod, Jupiter. Welcome to the tripod. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> one well, more time. Welcome to the tripod. <laughs> Today we're talking about man-animal hybrids, <laughs> otherwise known as animals. <laughs> Was that a, what was that? A horse? A horse. Wow! Wait. Here, give us your best horse, Keith. That's that was really good. Uh, uh, Ned, give us give us your horse. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. Here, Zach, give us your best horse. <laughs> wow, Zach really showed his cards. Wow. That was so embarrassing for Zach. You like, are not fucking that a horse. A, that was, that, a, that was a real, that was a real solid know. intro. You, you watch me. I'm gonna fuck more uh, horses than any of you. No, you look me. We you can't mark talk about my words. Us. We can only audience. talk about God sucking horses and fuck strangers. More horses once than it, anyone. Once Jesus. Mark my words. Once it's this us fucking promise. the horse, it's I, bad. I, Zachary Cornfeld, will fuck more horses than all my friends combined. This can we just can we call it? Zach said he was gonna fuck. Can we just clip that and need to save? For later. Yeah, yeah soundboard sure. that. Hi, Zachary. Soundboard that. Can that be in your TikTok sound where everyone says, <laughs> I, Zachary Kornfeld, promise that I will fuck more horses oh my God. than any of my friends combined? I might be a shadow band. Yeah, you're gonna get shadow. I think it's gonna be straight band. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be there. There will be no shadow. No shadow. Sorry, I got a I got a text message that I needed to see if I needed to attend to in this moment. I don't. Nice. Therefore, goodbye, phone. Let's talk about horse fucking. What? Let's, let's get in another bowl. bowl. What's in the bowl? What's, What's in, in the bowl? bowl? <laughs> What's in, in the bowl? bowl? What was the final What's answer on who's the hottest male celeb? <laughs> it's centaurs. It's Zeus. Zeus. Yeah. Zeus. 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 Yes. Dude. Zeus. Okay. <laughs> Who does anybody play Zeus in a major motion picture this recent? Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger in a Super Bowl commercial. Zeus in the new Thor, played by Russell Crowe. That's cool. And he's That's not really that hot. Russell Crowe isn't that hot? Are you insane? Yeah, Did yeah, Russell Crowe today? Remember and also he, Russell Crowe ever? He punched guys. You, but he's a, a good Zeus. He used to punch guys, he right? He's he punched, pretty hot in Gladiator. Is he punching guys? Yeah. Didn't he punch guys? <laughs> He, he did. He did. Guys. He did punch people. Yeah, yeah he punched guys. Like noble. And <laughs> he did strong. punch people, which he is did. very. It's very Zeus like. Very Zeus like behavior. Who did he punch? Guy was that like a thing he was going around doing? <laughs> yeah, I feel like yes. He got in trouble like twice in one year for punching guys. Did Russell Crowe punch guys? Like, Look at that, Russell Crowe. Punch, punch. Mm, Russell Crowe, elephant, anus, hair. Russell Crowe did punch guys. It seems like between. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> because it did it's Russell so Crowe like he punched, punched guys. Like, it's not like he punched a guy. Between 1999 and 2005, Crowe was involved in four altercations. <laughs> I told you he punched guys. We're punching guys. <laughs> wow. I'm Maximus. Don't you know who I am? I got that beautiful mind. It's crazy. I'll fuck you up. What's okay. in the ball? What's in the ball? What's in the ball? What's in the ball?
What I already know. It? I already know people's answers for this. Apples or bananas? Bananas. Apples. <gasps> bananas. Bananas. I don't really like bananas. Wow. Shame. 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 I love, no, I loved apples when I was a kid. I loved cutting them up Ned, in little actually, slices, I'm dipping on, them in I'm honey. I'm on team apples. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but some apples are so bad. bad some tasting. bananas are so bad. No, most bananas are delicious. Most bananas mm-hmm. are the same. So here's the thing. We only have <laughs> one banana the in America at a fucking time. line at a time between a good banana and a bad banana well that's just that's just related to ripeness i know that's part of it for right. me right whereas apples have many different variety therefore is that there fun are, how fun and, and i actually agree i think that is very fun yeah. if i had two on the table yeah. and i had to have a snack mm-hmm. i'd probably go for the apple huh. i'm going to go for the banana <laughs> hit me with that man what huh? about the but banana my smoothie the better apple is the better than any banana. Yeah. But the well, general banana is yeah. better than the, the worst, worst apple. Yes. Yeah, that's the true. best. Wow. Start the podcast over. Wow, we, we figured did it out. We, we did, did it. it. The yeah, best apple. Nothing delicious, delicious about that red mm-hmm. delicious. I heard recently that the sugar in an apple, your body's like, who gives a shit if it's a Snickers or it's a ban- an apple? <laughs> no, it was a real question. Who's huh? hot? Who's hotter? The half man, half apple. <laughs> oh, the half man. That's banana. I mean, oh, come obviously. on, now. the banana. Yeah, you peel it back and go to town. Look on at it. that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably I'm true. Clip that. There should be more mythology of mm. half. half, half fruit with the we should make a whole <laughs> fake fruit mythology people. religion about fruit people. Yeah, man, I, I bought a mythology book for my kid that was like mythology for kids. It is not for kids. Oh, people be fucking. <laughs> is it Whoa. the Greeks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Greeks yeah. be fucking. People like. Cutting their heads off, and yeah, oh, yeah, it's happened. like, oh, yeah. they were epic stories. <laughs> oh no, the asparagus people are coming. <laughs> I guess we already had <laughs> back on the turn up. Belly doesn't have enough. They're not half man. Gods. They just have eyes and noses and mouths. They don't have half man, woman, people bodies. Fruit myths. Ooh, imagine this. Mm. Okay, the banana people have like one eye, but then as they ripen, they. Have a bunch of eyes pop out. Wouldn't that, that be better scary. for the potato Why? people? Yeah, because bananas when they get more ripe, they get little brown dots. No, but you oh. do. But they potatoes don't get, get eyes. eyes. They just get freckles. <laughs> I'm calling them eyes. Bananas in pajamas. No. Oh, that is a walking happen. down. You the are stairs. Said, that is the original. That's those are it. our gods. Those are the wow. gods. And you're saying you would fuck the bananas in pajamas <sighs> more than the little apple car with the worm in it. The Richard Scary Apple helicopter that's piloted by a worm. <laughs> oh. I would not fuck the helicopter, <laughs> dude. You're missing out. Yeah, I'd love to take a ride helicopter. on it though, but not that kind of ride. I actually feel oh, like it's Ned. <laughs> an apple ride. Well, bananas in pajamas. Bananas in pajamas. Bananas coming bananas. down the stairs. Ooh, that's right. Bananas in pajamas. They're All coming everywhere. Oh. Oh. Here's a real question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. When you we were talking about fucking the banana people, right? <laughs> when you fuck a banana, <laughs> banana <laughs> split, baby. Oh, pretty good. This is an important question. Put my when you fuck a bill. banana in pajamas, <laughs> obviously they're out of pajamas. Sure, sure. Do you unpeel the banana to fuck them? <laughs> uh, well, if you're you know, if your relationship has progressed to that what point. What is the, yeah. is the peels the clothes or their skin? Kind of, That's what I'm asking. I do don't know. Peel from uh, the bottom or the top? They have the nice hard stem yeah. at the top. Yeah. Uh, you think that's the penis? I feel like that could be something where Ouch. I could do things with. <laughs> I think I got to look up bananas in pajama. You guys ever think? Look up <laughs> banana in pajama anus hair. Oh, God. No. Yeah. No, no. way, dude. Don't look up banana porn. Miles, this feels especially That's a off, great idea, Miles. Off the rails? Yeah, did I do that? And one the intro more back? question. <laughs> one more question in the ball. Okay. Well, actually, I wrote a bunch of them, so. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> they don't. Let's do a speed round. They right, speed guys, round. Wait. For everyone wondering, I looked up bananas and pajamas These guys porn. aren't peeled at all. No. They're just full bananas with the little stem. I think they just have yellow dicks down there. Yeah. Okay, so the next question this is, is. a little BDSM banana. That's pretty That's fun. pretty cute. That's mm. pretty hot. Uh, Biggest boner you've ever had. You didn't, didn't want to ask it. <laughs> Why didn't you? Biggest boner you've ever had. And now had. let's just let's just <laughs> slow down for a second here before we answer the question. I, I yeah, want to yeah, yeah. give people a look inside the mind of a podcast producer. Right. So this is a special segment mm-hmm. uh, that we call Inside Miles. Yeah, my mind. So, yeah. so Miles, you wrote this question down. You <laughs> right. thought of this question. Yeah. And then you took a pen in your hand. Yeah. And you kind of did the motion that said what again? So uh, and let me walk you through it. Yeah. Uh, so I get to the office about an hour early. Yeah. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, there's bad ones in here. And am I, still. Th- there's other bad, I mean, so you don't prep at all the day before. Are you going to reuse no, these prep. questions Purely for day you of prep. us? What's that? Are you going to reuse these questions for you? Consider? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to just use the same ball. Wait, Miles, continue. And then I want to. So I get to the office an hour early. Yeah. And I'm already crumpling the question. I've already done some prep. Anxiety. <laughs> I've already done some prep. And my idea was, well, what if I write down a bunch of fishbowl questions? Uh-huh. And then I thought, what's like a really good question? And yeah. what's the biggest boner you've ever had sort of felt right. like? Well, then the guys are going to, Keith's maybe going to be like, well, I had a big boner. <laughs> When I was in college or something, and then Ned was going to be it, like, "Wow, well, my wife." And, the thing about yeah. boners is, there's not a lot of variance in the size boner yeah, uh, sure. after a certain mm-hmm. age. Yeah. So I thought in classic try guys fashion, you know, Nick Keith would say something goofy, right. and then Ned would be like, "My what?" And then well, it's a classic, boner. like you <laughs> know, should we just stick to the script yeah. then? Well, I mean, <clears throat> Miles, you also wrote in this bowl, <clears throat> "Best <laughs> ass you've seen lately." <laughs> Wow. Lately. Yeah. But that's not even my favorite. Well, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Which one is your favorite? Miles, podcast producer, wrote, last person you, in quotations, <laughs> dicked down. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> I just thought it was just want to be- can I pass this around like an offering basket? Just I just thought it was a good out. question. Wow. Like last so person, these are you, icebreakers, huh? Yeah, these are icebreakers. So the office. The office. <laughs> these are water cooler <laughs> conversation <laughs> topic. Yeah, what like I also you're... like about this is that he capitalized the D in dicked <laughs> and in down. I tell you what, you oh. take Ronald out of this room for one day. Yeah. Things go wild. You now he's back, but he was gone mm. yesterday. He was in the studio. I saw when him. I left in the evening, he was sitting up there. <laughs> Somebody moved Rattles him in here. Puppet. He moved himself. Yeah, but I do think Probably what's an interesting he question out for Ron. Well, Miles, I just want to you know let you get in, jump in here and yeah. be involved. So, who is the last person you dick down? Oh, that's right. Probably my wife. No, oh. yeah. So you, okay, my wife Sarah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I dig. You guys are married. <laughs> We're married. Yeah, you were at my oh. wedding. You remember? Yeah. I was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but it, that was yeah my dick yeah. down. So Zach, who is the last person you dick? <laughs> You dicked down. I can't. I don't. Can you define a dick down? Yeah. So dicking down is when you <laughs> take your um, big fat cock and you. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> god! <laughs> we have to. What? Pivot. He That's just asked what it meant. It's too much. I have to. Family show. I Keep have to. Saying. Oh my god. On the pod. <laughs> you yeah. guys talked about how to fuck a banana. <laughs> I, okay. I said nothing. Yeah. You said how do Man. I fuck. Yeah. You said you unpeel it. The answer <laughs> to how you fuck a banana is tastefully. Yeah. Yeah. Same way you get the Carnegie Hall. About, he grew up on a farm, so he's talking about <laughs> with a lot of <laughs> practice and a lot of hours. I did not grow up on a farm. <laughs> we did have horses. At one point, pigs came, but then we had to ward them off and told Wait, the corn. Hold, I'm sorry. What? At one point, my parents pigs had always came. My pa- they arrived. My like parents. they showed up at the farm <laughs> looking <laughs> for a place to live. Pigs <laughs> in pajamas are my walking parents had down the stairs. Clams or something, and they put the shells in the driveway. And then p- my well, you would, had clams. They my parents had clams. What the clams? And, and I, they threw the shells in the driveway. It's a gravel driveway. It's gravel. It's rock. It'll just like get churned up sure. with the gravel. And Remember stuff. when everyone was like, "Oh my God, you have to watch Black." mirror and then the first episode's about fucking a pig. That's my yeah. favorite episode. It is hard to get through that episode, but it is a good one. Yeah. And then the pigs came and um, my brother was like, there's pigs. And my dad was like, what? And then the P- my dad went to the corner store and was like, somebody lose like 10 pigs? And the same guy was like, yeah. And then we delivered the pigs. Did, did he give you a reward? Ah, he did. I don't think so. You yeah. should have been able to keep a pig. Yeah. <laughs> you should have said, <laughs> I only like, found if, nine. If oranges yeah. fall on That's your right. lawn. Found nine pigs right. today. Did you lose nine <laughs> if pigs? If the pigs wander onto your property, like, yeah. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Aren't they your pigs now? Mm. Interesting. So a dicking down. Yeah, you put your big fat cock I'd in. be really afraid of <laughs> 10 pigs together. That, it was like, a little scary. Cruising around town. Yeah. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. Born to be wild. <laughs> hog wild. Dance, da, dance, wild dance, hogs. Dance, uh, dance, does hog dance. wild come from pigs? From wild hogs. Well, there's wild hogs are actually a huge problem. They're and like dangerous. And they're very dangerous. They kill people. Yeah, there's no hunting season because they they reproduce so quickly that they're like a huge hazard. They like to, killed an old wow. woman two years ago. Oh, no. I remember there's yeah. a story. It was it's very, they're very Every dangerous. movie that takes place in the jungle or the forest where they're stranded, there's something spooky in the forest. But yeah. then been, <gasps> there's a pig and that's kind of like a season one plot line. Mm. Lost did it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yellow, yellow jackets did it. A monster, it's a pig. Anaconda did it. Yeah. 
Pigs in the forest. Mm. Do you what do you do? You carry <laughs> pepper one. spray? Pepper spray for the pig? You what can do, do pig you, spray you, probably. Pig I spray? never encountered pigs when I was growing up, but I just know they're you a big problem. You just kind of carry a fence around at all yeah. times. They'll maul you. They'll kill you. They go to the mall. They go to the mall and they stop at JC Penney. Yeah. They go to Claire's and get their little pig ears pierced. Yeah. How would you <laughs> with what you have on you right now? Uh-huh. Kill a wild pig who is trying to kill you. That's a really good question. I'd probably use this mic stand as a you know, ba- battering that, stick. Yeah. If a pig came in the podcast studio, yeah, I just yeah. rip the mic stand and start trying to get distance with it's a that. F- fork here. So take the fork, throw it, and then <laughs> throw and it. then get behind Eugene. Just clang off. I, th- <laughs> <laughs> I definitely, if the, in this scenario, would rely on Eugene and Ned. Yeah. The first wave. Yeah. I would also first wave of pigs. There's this coffee table here. I feel like if we Up act very quickly, we could maybe make a little barrier. Mm. Ah, a pig enters pig. the room. I think you guys, you're just a, assuming violence. I would sing to the pig. Well, didn't it? Wasn't it like a wild I, hog? I that was you're going to trust him? Gonna aggressively <laughs> going to You're going to trust this us? guy? Yeah. He's asking us about dicking down? I'm just oh, yeah. imagining this hog is like disemboweling your throat as you're My singing. My throat has no bowels. <laughs> yeah. uh, Eugene, can you start the podcast over? I yeah, let's do the intro one more time. Yeah. Welcome to the tripod. Here we are. Yeah. Little little piggies, all tucked away in bed, waiting for, waiting for five men to come murder us for no reason. Because mm-hmm. apparently that's what we do to pigs. Well, no, only if they're gonna murder you. That's right. Why is the pig murdering you? Because they're wild. Because they're wild. The wild hogs do murder. They do murder people. All right, Tucker Carlson. Was over it really here telling us that pigs are coming around? <laughs> if it's a pig, huh? Is it murder? If it's a pig, I think it's just, you know. You mean like, it's just do a, know, how do we know it's, it's premeditated? It's manslaughter. <laughs> yeah, it's just manslaughter. <laughs> pig slaughter. Oh, interesting. You should have said hogicide. Hogicide. Oh, uh, that's good. <laughs> that is funny. I think it depends how you kill it, but yes, I think you could murder a pig. No, if a pig murders you, I think that could we could call murder? it murder. It has to if, if it left like a note no way thing. Yeah. I'm gonna go murder the try guys. Yeah, yeah, it would be murder. Anyways, Yankee Stadium has great bacon on a strip. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. One more question. Are, What's are, are there in the bowl? Any in there that you think are appropriate that aren't about? Yeah, those were those were the 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 Delicious. very miles ones. Yeah, though I will say. Maybe you're uh you're a seer, Miles. A seer? A soothsayer, oh. as they say. Mm, <laughs> because three of your questions actually hit on things that we rambled about. Really? Yeah. There's one about prison. Mm. Oh, we talked about our last know. meal. Being, oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the last episode when you started over. Yeah, it was six episodes. Oh, well, many episodes. Seven episodes. There's also again. one about fave type of pasta, which we talked we about. We did talk about that. Wow. We talked about orzo. Yep. We also talked yeah. about God. Oh, yeah, and it was, is God real is one of them? Right? God's making <laughs> centaurs. <laughs> Whoa. So, Miles, I think you actually ordain, preordained yeah. the entire pod. You're actually a podcast-producing like genius. I'm pretty good at this Were shit. you writing questions as we were talking? And then throwing them yeah. discreetly into the bowl? Yeah, sort of like a sleight of hand? I wish, yeah. Well, that means we should probably just ask the, the best question you have, which is... <sighs> Anyways, biggest boner for me, probably my wedding night. Really? Yeah. You That's see, awesome. M- Good for you, man. Miles asked, smash or pass? Oh. Baloney. Smash. You got to hit that. Smash. Yeah, you got to But, but baloney, to me... You touched baloney? Yes. Why Feels you good. Smash? <laughs> <laughs> How so? Feels I did good. like well, out of all the out of all the deli meats. No, it's oh not no, out of all of them. It's, it's just, just saying it's which just the binary. In some ways, I think it, it is a good one because because it's like you know ground up meat that's then returned into meat. It's got it's more tender. It's already godless. It's not like trying to get through like hard salami. How did they make bologna? Be tough. You don't want to know. Is does it have to be from Bologna to be called bologna? From Bologna, like is Spain. it technically like Oscar mm. Mayer bologna, bologna style product? meat? Yeah, bologna style meat from Kansas, sparkling meat. Sometimes it has olives in it, right? Uh, I would, I would pass, pass. It's That's not, like it's not, else. it's not oh, a, yeah. a smashable deli meat to me. Up to, not up to my standards. What if it was a stack of bologna? It's awkward for you guys then. <laughs> well. Now we go, God, let's we're... submit a writing packet for Black Mirror season this is seven. A disgusting tripod. If I was <laughs> a god, gross. yeah, and I fucked. Yeah, what would you do if you were? Who, who would a you? Bunch fuck of if you were a god. 
yeah. if I fucked a bunch of baloney, mm-hmm. then that could maybe make like a centaur cow. Is baloney all cow? I th- no, you know, I, I think it would be a, not. It would be like a griffin. You're right. A it's chimera. probably a bunch of shit. It would be so many animals. Yeah, it's like pig, pork. It's pork, chicken, and beef. Yeah, it'd be a There's pork, chicken, bologna? cow man. And mm. probably bones. And, and lots of bones. You'd yeah. be creating a, a vision of death. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. I mean, probably right, like... Take it back. You should fuck mm. baloney. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. That's nice. Yeah. I think I could use one one last I know. If we intro, introduce the show I, one I more time. I just don't really like that, where we're at right we'll introduce, now. Yeah. Introduce the show and we'll do it one last time. Just one last time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Tripod. Today... We are talking about getting dick down. <laughs> <laughs> there we That's are. right, wow. everybody. Yeah. Cut, out all, the, cut out all the stuff in the middle and just use the intros. We got ourselves an episode. That's right. Yeah, so dick, the dick down good. episode, man. <laughs> Wait, Eugene, I wanna, how's it going over I want to hear that guy good, talk baby. more about what it's like to get dick down. Yeah. Well, sometimes you put on a lot of candles. Yeah. You make yourself nice and cozy like a banana. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. Pajamas. Ooh. Yeah, but you, feel it. you invite over a god, maybe Chris Hemsworth. <gasps> you offer him an apple or a banana. He might choose both. And then, <laughs> of course, you put on your centaur costume. Yeah, I'm getting the biggest boner yeah. of my life right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. He's Here actually already. <laughs> he said, uh, "There he is." Hell yeah, dude. Miles, you I think, think that you, the you reason people job. like this show is like the graphic sexual content. I would say we're starting to lose people. <laughs> I think we're I think we're bleeping a lot of uh, what we've said this well, episode. Eugene is here, so they know. probably were like, "Oh, I'll listen to this one," and then they were <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was quick, thinking quick, about that. I mean, we someone didn't say something inside about. <laughs> Hey, we're going to have to cut that. But um, Wait, it uh, is interesting. Yeah, I was wondering what to title this episode. And I may title it. I think there's a gas leak in the studio. If, <laughs> if, I think there's parentheses, Eugene. Yeah, parentheses, Eugene. Yeah, parentheses, parentheses, Eugene's I here. like that. I like that title. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all lowercase, too. Yeah. I mean, did someone say eating? I, I did, yeah. yeah. Doing that activity <laughs> tasted like a deli meat. Which deli which meat one would you, would you want it to be? Are you asking which one it legitimately tastes like? Yeah. Yeah. Now I am. Oh, yes. God, I guess boar's head. I guess <laughs> a nice honey baked ham. Oh, oh man, I love honey baked ham. It really depends on the person. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, <laughs> you ever had that Chipotle turkey? I don't think it's anything <laughs> <What? lucky. laughs> Oh, think. like the outside is like dusted with orange. You what ever do you mean? That? Icy? You ever have that Chipotle turkey? Yeah, it's like that's what you imagined store. ass tastes no, like. No, I'm saying I just was throwing it out there. Have you ever had it? Yeah, they have like a, a turkey that it's got like Chipotle dust on the outside. When you slice it, you get a little bit of Chipotle dust yeah. in the sandwich. And it's quite it. flavorful. I have the perfect answer. Okay, What's I that? just remember when you didn't taste like taste like your favorite dish with just a little ahi tuna on top. Ooh. I'm back on Love board. crab meat. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just cracking egg. And weirdly, yolk. I think the way I just said that, I think a lot of people would actually agree. Mm. Just like something you really want and you're hungry. Mm-hmm. But there's just like a tiny dash of seafood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, is this the dirtiest tripod episode ever? No, it's def- by far not. No, it's not by far. It was well, pretty I mean, consistently I mean, dirty. Close. It's close. Do yeah, you want to tip it over the edge? Oh, so... Last bull question is who has the who's the hottest foot? Not me, I don't think. We I think it's too weird. Like, oh, I was gonna say Eugene, sack. but you've had some. You've put your shove your toes in heels. Oh yeah, but it hasn't. And Ned's get totally beat up by up. soccer. Who it's not that? Ned. It's I don't not take, me, but I, oddly enough, I do have the highest number of paid subscribers. <laughs> on only feet. On yeah. only feet. Sort of I like, don't take oh, care of my toenails. I'm not mass market. I'm niche. Mm. And I know that Keith, you've got big feet. Big feet. Yeah. But I wouldn't say feet. that they're like sexy feet. Unless you like big feet. I think my hotness ends at the ankles. Miles? My feet are fucked up. They're big and crazy. So Eugene is the answer? Well, maybe I have the most conventionally attractive feet, quote thank, unquote. But people thank are you into, for specifying yes, we don't want to but people apply are into our every, foot attractiveness. I think I know someone with a foot thing, and it's not like he's into 
the prettiest feet. Mm. Is it any feet? Sometimes he's not, well, no, sometimes he's just like, he likes how specific a foot is. Like, ooh, that one's got some long toes. Or, mm. ooh, that one's like. long toes. Okay, Keith. Yeah. Keith's like, our answer. Well, it just depends on, the, I think, the mood. You I'll know? tell you that feet last I checked, I had the people. lowest wiki feet rating of any of us. So I'm not on there. Wait, no. there's a wiki feet? For all of us, yes. Wait, what is that? It's it like, yeah. It's like Wikipedia, but instead of info, it just ranks feet. Yeah. And you guys have very good scores, and my score is not as good. So Why it's, isn't it's your fine. score? You know, it's good. fine. I think we can move on. It's no, fine. hey, Zach. Wait, uh, you're crying. Fine. You're crying. <laughs> you're crying, Zach. <laughs> Zach, stop crying. I do want to see yep. my wiki feet. It's baby. time for advice <laughs> that'll go for miles. I feel like we're just cutting it out of the With most miles, juicy part. B O N Signore. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Wrote this one. For all the girlies out there. See you around my neighborhood. Walking around my neighborhood. And walk on me. Walking around on me. <laughs> I'm with you, Miles. Walk on me. One, two, three, four. Walking around <laughs> on me. me. Three out of the four try guys are on their phones right now. We're on Wiki Feet. <laughs> Wiki Feet is infectious. On me. People should know that Keith has the highest wiki feed score. Yeah. That, what is have, it? It's 4. like 4.89. 4. It's almost out a of perfect five? score. Yeah. Whoa, fuck. I got to cash in on these puppies. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody fuck my feet. And I've got the lowest of us at a 4.53. That's still really good. I think people just really like feet if they're looking at wiki feed. Miles. Here's why. It's because this photo of us from this Korean Here video. we go. Yes. Now he's going to get our attention. Hey! What is it? Dick me down in a Mazda. Uh, dick me down in a Mazda. Uh, dick me down in a Mazda. Blah. Dick me down in a Mazda. Woo -woo. Pull a seat up. Dick me down in my Mazda. Everybody around me with paparazzi. Shooting photos of my feet in my Mazda. What's that? Eat some pasta! That's right, eating pasta in my Mazda! Sucking my own dick in my Mazda! <laughs> this song is pretty good. This feels <laughs> not far off from a Lonely Island song. Feels dick like a me real down Lonely in Island. A Mazda. Feels really, really Lonely Island, that one. Yeah! <laughs> What's wow. up, Miles Nation? How's everybody doing tonight? Woo. I think we Mazda should make Nation. a full in a Mazda. Yeah, that's music a good song. Video. Yeah. yeah, Dick in Me Down a in a Mazda. Mazda. Be a great music it's video. It's parentheses, <laughs> Dick Me Down in a in a Mazda. Mazda. <laughs> Mazda. Have you ever wanted um in a Mazda? Have you ever wanted your mm, your scrub a dub dub <sighs> in the club? Uh, Where a car air freshener is a necklace. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Write that down. Save that for next week. It's the month to be gay. gay. And why'd that's why, why'd you, why'd you look at me? Why'd you stare me down? <laughs> you just dead eye stare me when he said gay. gay. <laughs> I mean, I know why you looked at me. It's totally fine. I accept it. It's the month, it's the month to be gay. So you should use a bathtub tray. <laughs> Oh yeah, you've used this for a long time. Isn't this no, a I haven't. Isn't this a repeat? I thought no, you've had a bathtub tray for a long you're time. You're telling no, me I just got this. That you've been watching the Grey's Anatomy in the Turb yeah. without a bathtub, a bathtub tray. tray. That's right. my, my, I've been I've been putting the iPad and it's slightly off, so I'm kinda of looking to the side. I should, I, the iPad. Should have been your wedding gift. I know, so I got the bathtub tray. No wonder and you have scoliosis. <laughs> I don't have scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's talk about your back so far. Oh, you know, I have like herniated, he's got a herniated I don't need discs. the details. <laughs> he's got scoliosis, this he's guy. Got herniated dicks. I have a herniated dick. And so <laughs> uh, 
I've been using the bathtub tray. Well, I just got it. I haven't used it yet, but it seems like a good idea. It's bamboo. You, you haven't it fucking yeah. used it yet? <laughs> I took it out of the box, and, I, and, I, and I'm excited it, about it. question, does it have iPad space in it? It has space for a computer. It has space for a snack. It has and space a for a drink, and it has space for your crack. <laughs> <laughs> And Do you what is this? Slip the iPad like in a little slot. Yeah, there's a little you... slider, and then you put it over, and then obviously, if you freaking make one wrong move, you dunk the whole thing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Do you think Sarah will ever so act risky. as sort of a flight attendant for your bath experience? She does sometimes. She I, comes I yell in if I'm and already you a coke. if I'm submerged uh, if I'm submerged uh, already, then she'll she'll sometimes bring me a little ice cream or something. That's adorable. Oh, but only if Gosh. I yell at, across the house, Sarah! And she's like, yes. And I say, sweetie, can you please get me some ice cream? I'm already submerged. And then she'll, <laughs> have, she'll go and get Miles, me. Miles, I have to you a full cone and everything. <laughs> I'm not eating yeah. this cone. <laughs> on the cone. I, I, I haven't been here in a while. Eating it out of a bowl? Like, yeah, I, I haven't like been it. here in a while. How, yeah. how many... How many advices are about baths still? Not many recently because so, I hadn't been taking baths and I got back into the game. Oh, so this is aligned. <laughs> it's a return to form. It's a return, return to, to form. Yeah, it's a return to form. Recently, my advices have been, I don't even know, fucking bath shit. Like, you know. But, but not bath shit. Not bath shit. I mm. took a break uh, from the bath. <laughs> <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> Yeah. How Wait, did you even burp? <laughs> Wait, that was that was vaguely sexual. How did you even burp? <laughs> your, your what, burp what made your you burp, burp ended in like a very like <laughs> like you're maybe getting a little dick down. Yeah, it's kind of what happens when you get penetrated by a banana. Yeah, it's burp. my bath moan. I my my burp, my burp moan. I kind of burp and then I moan. It's always like a you know. That's a funny combo of sounds. Yeah, Wait, everyone try to burp moan. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee you, no one's ever made these sounds. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Burp on. Oh, all right. Oh my god, this episode. <laughs> oh my god, that was yeah. intense. What I liked about Miles right, is though is that it was immediate. Like I couldn't. I tried to do it that fast, uh. and I couldn't. It's not easy. I, if you're at home right now, I want I you to try of, and burp moan. It's and do yeah, it as fast as him. I have a lot of practice. Oh, do people listen to this with their parents around? <laughs> I think most people have to listen to this on headphones at because point, it cannot be overheard yeah, by someone too much. else. Yeah. Wait. Uh, wait. So it was bath. Uh, <coughs> bath caddy was your bath tray. A bath tray. A bath tray because it's a good month to be gay. And so that's the. I want you to use it. Was it was a rhyme. It's a rhyme. It was a rhyme. Yeah. But because okay. it's Pride Month. No. No. I got that. Reason. Yeah. <laughs> Rub a dub. Right, so it's bamboo. Is it adjustable? Yeah. So you can adjust the size of it. You can right. kind of like it's like right. slides. You can, can make it like as long as the bathtub. You so can that make it. You make it a lengthways. You could if you wanted to. <laughs> what if we just never ended this episode uh that was my fault what I if it was I a three hour it. episode it's because i kept oh. introing it it kept resetting the clock yeah I, I have a question for you miles what's up do you let sarah see you Naked? in the bath yeah what okay. do you mean i just feel a little bashful when i'm in the bath i feel like oh. bathful yeah, you got a little bath full. So yeah. bad for you. I, I do agree that I don't think your body is flattering in a bathtub. Oh. You're kind of crumpled up. Yeah. You well, know. you're, you're the both way, tall boys. Also, like you're laying down, but then like just a little part of <laughs> your little man is you're, hanging you're above the water line. Floats. It's yeah. I mean, weird. I'm naked. Oh, you for... got to get taller sides, bro. <clears throat> yeah, obviously, oh, tall. we all want. <laughs> Deeper tub. Ned's got that claw foot. I've seen it. He's got a big tub. <laughs> He's got that. Claw and we all wish foot. we had a big tub, but it's we don't. Daddy Warbucks over here. Daddy's got where the claw I go foot. for the earthquake. Dude, I would do anything for a claw foot. I take a bath whenever the earth shakes. <laughs> like a. I don't actually have a claw foot. Though. You don't? I thought you did. No, he you freestand. Like, freestand. Yeah. Freestand. Freestand. Not claw foot. Yeah. It's, it's modern. It's a it's modern cool. tub. <laughs> yeah. I guess the claw foot is just a cast iron claw foot tub. From uh, we yeah. should fill that thing with age. milk or something, right? That's what YouTubers do, right? They fill tubs up with milk. Let's do something. a video called We, yeah. filled, <laughs> we, like, we filled Ned's bathtub e with milk. Eating my own cereal. We surprised Ned by being submerged in milk inside his <laughs> bathtub. When he came home, we jumped out and were covered in milk. And yeah, we why said, hi. In parentheses, prank. Yeah. prank. Why aren't you guys doing severe prank content on each other? I mean, you've been I the game. have a couple. <clears throat> I, Rachel said they're mean. They're mean. I we're mean, we did. old and fragile. But that's kind of why it's fun, you know, because he's not expecting it. Well, I don't drop us a comedy. We shit on Ned's floor. 
Drop us a comment <laughs> if you want some extreme prank content. We kidnap Ned's children. I don't think people do. I put yeah. 10 pigs in Ned's yard. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Murdering pigs. Murdering pigs. People wow. didn't really like it when we blew up a bunch of fireworks. But that wasn't really a prank. That's not a prank. No, but that was like a more closely approaching that type of content. You should have yeah. done fireworks in Ned's house. Yeah, Ned that's true. Yeah, we set off a firework in Ned's house. <laughs> then I would click on that. They love when you emotionally torture me. That's, That's true. true. Yeah, maybe we should do more of that. No. Well, not you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like nice pranks for Eugene. We yeah. convinced Ned that his wife was abducted by aliens prank. Oh. Yeah. We, I wouldn't believe that, no matter just, what you said. That's why it's a prank. I think we're just oh. too lame, Miles. Hey. I oh, think it's true. You don't have to say it's it, though. true. <laughs> I found a firecracker in my attic from the previous owners. You know what I did with it? Threw it away. Submerged it in water and then threw it away because I didn't want it to somehow explode in That's... the garbage instead of garbage fire somewhere yeah. in its future. Yeah. So I submerged it in water for a couple minutes and then I threw it in the garbage. You know, responsible. That's responsible, Keith. I was like, well, I don't want to be the guy. Who we hid firecrackers in Keith's attic <laughs> prank. <laughs> Welcome to the tripod. Mm. Uh, I have the perfect opening now. Yeah. Happy Pride Month. Hey. I'm assuming this is the... One tripod we recognize, Brad Month. So the everyone, one, the, the only one, <laughs> <laughs> tripod. Everyone go around here at the tripod. Brad Month is one episode. <laughs> everyone go around and say one nice thing about about queer people. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Keith. Uh. We have the tall one, Keith. I I love that the world you know is constantly getting better for queer people. Uh, I know that there's still hardships, obviously, but I really do love to see them thrive and like, you know, express who they are. It's beautiful. Also, their contributions to pop culture. Dope as shit. Dope as shit. Mm -hmm. And then the, the married <laughs> one, Ned. Queer people inspire me and I think a lot of other people to express yourself and to take more risks when it comes to fashion mm. and visual aesthetic and being fabulous. And it's great. And the, the hairy one. I'm going to get very specific here and say that gay people always be know about music. And Carly Rae Jepsen deserved better. Queer community knows it. And then, of course, yeah, the napkin man. I'm the napkin guy. Yes. Um, I think that oftentimes... This guy hates gay people. He can't even come up with an answer. <laughs> <laughs> you hear this? Oops. Can't even come up with an answer. Dare you. <laughs> you. I think oftentimes, laugh. actually, this is something that I said that got cut, that which just didn't make the cut for the that other video. But I think oftentimes, all my friends growing up who were gay had really excellent senses of humor and were often funnier than me because they knew themselves in a way that I did not have to do work Ooh. to know my own self. Wow. Because my personality was sort of given to me, and they had to discover theirs. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Mm. Um, Why do you like gay people, great. Eugene? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> because gay people, they would say apples, bananas. Why not both? Why not both? And if you go to Hawaii, they have tiny bananas that are called apple bananas. Hawaiians are great. So everything. gay. They get They're it. They're really ahead of us. They get it. Well, They're teeny. welcome to the tripod. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Get the merch, do the dance, do the song. Kith. 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 Yeah, do you spell that? Kith. Kith. That is the official tripod synth song. Welcome to the tripod. We've got a great episode for you today. It's going to be really fun. We're going to talk about stuff. And then Miles is going to say cock at least six <laughs> times. It's a tripod. Until next time, stay beautiful. I'm going to do the intro one more time. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Welcome to the tripod. 